Hello friends, happy Friday. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. My name is Grace and this is my channel, Grace Without Fear. And I've been gone for a while. This is not another I'm back video because I've made a few of those. That's actually kind of like my YouTube career. I make a video, I leave, then I come back, I make an I'm coming back video, and then I just keep keep doing that. So I've been gone, lots of reasons, doesn't really matter um, because right now we are living in the time of COVID-19, uh, pandemic emergency. Um, we're like in the middle of it right now. It is April, no, today's May, it's May Day. Today's the first day of May. And so we've been, I live in the state of California. I live in Riverside County and the governor of California did a mandatory stay at home order in March, I wanna say. So we're almost two months into it at this point. Um, Riverside County is thinking about lifting some of the restrictions that they've had, but this is not the video about COVID-19. If you clicked on this video, you know by the title, which should be Home Depot Shopping Hall. Cause this is a Home Depot Shopping Hall. Um, I, with, all of this going on i'm not at work right now i am at home majority of the time and even though i have books i have crochet i have nail polish i have a television i can exercise which i have been i'm bored like there's nothing stimulating there's nothing like i don't have enough things that i do in downtime for this perpetual downtime to not cause me problems. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, so I have, like most people, taken up the habit of gardening. And so I've been doing like a little bit of research. I'm not the best gardener. Like anytime I get a plant, I kill it. Like I've killed succulents, I've killed hydrangeas. Like I just, I murder things. But I really wanna try and I got some really great ideas from a few of the um like garden plant channels here on youtube epic gardening harley g summer rain oaks um i've even seen like a few of plant arenas videos there's a uh, girl in the word there are so many channels that are de dedicated or focus a lot on plants um and like growing them cultivating them propagating them and just being a better gardener in general and so if you're interested in that i would definitely recommend for you to check out those channels also do some research you know kind of figure out what you're into and just go from there home depot lowe's they're open right now they have decent garden centers but anyway like most people say during their intros, I don't want this intro to be too long. So I'm just gonna get on to the video. The first thing that I got, well not the first thing, one of the things that I got from Home Depot was this cactus, palm, and citrus soil. It's by Miracle Grow. And the reason I got this is because there are quite a few succulents that I have purchased. And I put them in like a moisture control soil in order to like hope that uh, controlling that moisture that way would do well and one of my plants completely died like Cody just died and slightly traumatizing and I see that some of my other succulents aren't doing so well so I wanted to try this soil out for size but I did get other types of plants so the soil that I did purchase will not go to waste so I got a big bag because I do have quite a few succulents to pot and repot Another uh, soil mix that I got is this indoor potting mix. It's also by miracle Grow, And this mix, I have gotten a few plants that I'm really excited to show you. And they're more like indoor plants. They don't need like all the drainage that the succulents would. And so I just got some of this to go along with my moisture control soil that I still have. Next up is this this is a jiffy windowsill greenhouse there are like 
12 plants that you could grow in this. You can use it for fruits and vegetables or also flowers. So it's pretty simple the way that you use it. You just put the seed in the little pod here, you water it and then cover it with the plastic lid. And then you put it in a nice sunny place and it acts as a mini greenhouse. And I have a few fruits and vegetables along with flowers that I want to get. So I am really excited to use that. We're gonna move on into some hardware that I did purchase. I bought this drilling and driving kit by Ryobi. It is a 103 piece kit that you can see comes with different drill bits, different heads, I think it has like even like a socket wrench or a torque or something. It's gonna come in handy because in June, I am going to be moving to a new place and my television is mounted on my wall. And so I needed a drill and then also some drill bits that would allow me to unscrew my TV. Next up, this is probably like the biggest coup that I got from my trip to Home Depot. This and one of my plants. So this is the Ryobi One Plus system. It's a two-piece combo kit that comes with just like your regular drill. So it's a two-speed drill and driver. And then if you needed more force or more torque, there's also the impact driver here um, that comes with like 1,800 pounds of torque, which is cool. I'll figure out how to use both of these. But this is what I plan to use to help me unscrew and unmount my TV from my wall and then mount it to the new place that I'm gonna be at. And lithium 1.5 battery, as well as a charger. It comes with, sorry, two batteries, a charger and then also a tool bag. Now, the driver kit that I just showed you was about $15 and my mom and I, we were like, oh man, that's amazing. The guy was like, oh yeah, you know, we're having a good sale on Ryobi right now and I was like oh okay sure I didn't see any stale stickers on it but I was like yeah cool a sale but this right here the reason why I was so excited for it is because when I picked it up off of the shelf it said that it was $50 two drills two batteries a charger and a tool bag for $50 friends I am not stupid so I immediately picked it up because I was like, this is a great starter set for me to figure out if I'm interested in doing all the DIYs that I see on YouTube and Instagram, everything. So I got it. And then we went through the rest of Home Depot. We were shopping. We get to the cash register and I was expecting to spend over $100, close to $200, which I did, but I got to a I got to $200 way faster than I was expecting. I was able to take a quick glance at the screen before the cashier rang up the next item and I saw that this drill set that on the actual shelf said that it was $50 or $49.97. On the actual register it said that it was $130 or $129.98 or whatever. And I was like, oh, oh no, that's over double what I thought I would be paying for it and so my mom was like what are you gonna do and I was like I, I don't know I just held it to the side and my mom was like uh, to the cashier she said or she asked do you honor the price of the shelf and she the cashier was like I'm not entirely sure let me ask so she called a guy he went with my mom to the spot where it was which was by by the cash register and they had mislabeled either someone had mislabeled this item like it where it was resting or someone had moved all of the drills into the wrong spot um, but there was nothing next to this drill, so I don't know how that would happen. 
but yeah so it was mislabeled and the guy called his supervisor and they apparently said to honor the price that it said on the shelf and then of course to move all the drills over and so while this was 130 I had it marked down to 49.97 so paying like $50 for this drill so I'm really excited about that I feel bad for like the guy um, and the employees but at the same time I wouldn't have picked it up if I had known it was $130 just with the whole pandemic thing it's you gotta be really tight with your wallet so yeah that's the story of this two-piece combo set from Home Depot so to that guy who will probably never see this video I'm very sorry for that but also thank you for honoring the price on the shelf okay so that's it for the non-plant items of this video I need some water So let's move on to pots and plants. Or actually, no, wait. I'm missing something. Oh, I forgot the one piece. The only reason I got the drill in the first place. I have to go get that. I'll be right back. Okay, so before we move on to plants, there are just a few things uh, that I bought that also deal with hardware. One of them is this just a piece of wood it's a little bit over a foot and I got this in order to practice with the drill that way I could work out how to apply force and pressure um, for drilling things I would like to put up shelves at the new place that I'm moving to and so I just wanted to use this as kind of like a base practice in order to get a better handle on my drill to that end I also bought wood screws and the reason that I bought the drill in the first place is for this. This is a porcelain tile and stone drill bit, but it's not like a bit. It's like a, I don't know if you can see that hole. So if you can see that hole right there. This is a diamond tipped saw. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Kevin from Epic Gardening, he made a video about if you go to the store and you happen to find a really cool pot or what have you that you would like to put a plant in but it doesn't have a drainage hole, you're not out of luck because you can put a drainage hole into that pot. I only heard about the video after I bought this pot here and I absolutely love this pot like I don't know if it's because of spring um, I don't know if it's just me as a person changing but this is not something that I would have gone for um, in the past whatsoever like I was never really into like bright colors like this like my nail polish is like a big a radical transformation from my usual black um, but and then also like I love the pattern and everything the scalloped edges I feel like this would be really great for succulents to put in but it doesn't have a drainage hole because it's a regular bowl but I bought it anyway after seeing that video I was really inspired to try to make it into a salvageable planter pot now every planter pot needs like a good plate and the color's not really coming through like on the camera um, but it's like this beautiful like mint green like ceramic like it's gorgeous so then and then just like imagine some succulents in there like that'd be bomb <laughs> and speaking of succulents and I can kind of show you my idea I did get plants from Home Depot along with some pots I will show you some of the plants I got this one I just heard about it's called ogre ears and when you look at it you can figure out why it looks just like ogre ears like it's so cute and this one I think was like $4.98, about $5. And so, put that in there. And then I got another succulent. This one is called a Cotyledon Lad, Lad, 
Gladys Gladys Mithiensis, but its common name is a bear paw, and if you look at it, it looks like little bear paws, which is so cute. So I got that one, so I could put that in the bowl as well. And then I got this succulent, and the only reason I got it is because it's called the California Sunset, and I live in California, and you have to rep your pride, right? I also like love how like the colors are and everything. It's so cute. And I think another one is like coming up right there. There, but I'm not sure. So put that one in there. And then I already own this succulent. It's called a tiger's jaw. And that's what it looks like. It's so freaking cool. It reminds me of a Venus flytrap, and during the day it can close and open, which is really cool. I have one, like I mentioned, his name is Kevin, but I was really worried that I had killed Kevin because I put Kevin in a glass dish with no drainage holes, and he started to not look so good, so I just like put him in the sun and made sure not to water him, but I got this one as kind of like a backup. Now this is a Cotyledon white sprite. It wasn't doing so good, so I definitely picked it up to see if maybe I can rehab it. But since I just killed one exactly like this, I don't have high hopes, but I still figured I'd give it another shot. It's really cool. It's like these fleshy arms and everything. I did propagate the one that just died with like a stem, just like this one. It was shooting like way up, like way up. Um, and so I did cut that one off and put it in soil and it actually like hasn't keeled over yet. So I'm kind of hopeful for that one. And then I know that it looks kind of tight, but succulents can't do with like a lot of wet in their soil. So, and then you also see like the display ones at Home Depot. So I figure that having all of these would be fine. I hope anyway. But if not, I do have individual pots. And then finally, for succulents, I got this one. It's called a red pagoda. And that's what it looks like. And it's so pretty, and I felt that it would be like a nice little contrast to the other colors. And go great with the bowl. And then boom. There's my succulent bowl. Imagine that. All right, so next up for plants, I got this one right here, a Tropical Sansevieria, also known as a snake plant, and this is going to look absolutely great, I feel. Like, it's so small. Um, I have a pot for it. I have a few different pot choices, and I think that's just going to look so good, and they're relatively low maintenance from what I've read. So I can't wait to see this little one grow. Another plant that I got is a coleus. And that's the, how you pronounce it. This is what it looks like. And I got it because of like the beautiful purple flowers. Like look at that, like that's absolutely gorgeous. But then also on the underside, you don't really see a lot of that purple. It's so fascinating. Um, and so I'm excited to plant this one as well. I don't know how much maintenance it's going to require. It says to water when dry, um, but I'm excited to get this one in a pot as well. Next up, I got this little guy who was just watered yesterday. It's called a polka dot plant. And look how cute. The different leaf types, the colors. I'm really excited to plant this one as well. And then finally for plants, I got this big guy. It is a Echeveria, also known as a Misty Lilac. And you can see that it has like a little new sprout right there at the top. And that's why I picked it, because ones like these, I'm just like, oh, they're so cute. 
and so once I plant it and it gets a little bit more stable I think I'll cut off this piece and try to propagate it or I might do that um, sooner just in case as bad as that sounds but yeah so these are most of the plants that I picked up from Home Depot yesterday these are some of the pots while I have them at hand that I got I really like this silhouette as compared to a silhouette like this one like this one has none of like this extra bit here so I feel like it looks more sleek and I'm really excited to plant or not to plant to paint these pots these planters uh, and give them their own unique feel I recently got into like illustration and drawing and so I'm excited to do that and I'll see about making a video about it as well now most of the planters most of the planters I did get little saucers to go with them just for like any extra drainage so I was able to get a smaller pot with the smooth edge there. And then one more. So those are all of the planters that I got. And then my last plant, I'm saving the best for last. I am so excited about this one because I have developed a love of them. The look, the silhouette, everything like that. And I thought there's no way that Home Depot will have this plant. And I'd already gotten all of these babies and I was like, I cannot take another plant. And then, I turned around in the garden section and I saw a monster or a monstera. This is a let me lift you up here. Also known as a Swiss cheese plant. I love it so much and it was only $13 for this whole plant. I am so excited and they apparently work really well as indoor plants so I'm excited to take care of it see it grow moving into a new pot once it's ready um, I'm really excited for this plant I'm so grateful that I was able to get it so that's it for all of the plants um, if you have any tips for me for taking care of these, please let me know, especially with the Monsteras. I don't have the best track record when it comes to plants, but I really want to try, especially for this little guy here. Okay, look at there are new leaves that have come out, and some of them have already started to like form their tears and everything. I love it so much, and it's actually inspiring me to DIY like my own Monstera print, so I'm excited for that as well. It's so beautiful. Look at it. My little monster. He's a little crispy right there. We'll take care of that. So thank you all so much for uh, joining me for this video. I am extremely excited to start this new chapter of hopefully growing these plants and having them become bigger and bigger. Um, I'm super excited for it um, but yeah like I said let me know if you have any tips tricks what have you for growing these plants I also have oh those are actually at my mom's I have some seeds that I'll be putting into the greenhouse um, and so I'm just excited to see how these grow um, I know that I'll be moving in June so I have to make sure that I have them all ready to go uh, and then I move them safely and securely but I'm so excited for this like I've always wanted to take up gardening but I always felt like I didn't have enough time well I got time now so 
yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it i do plan on having more videos coming out like i mentioned i want to paint some of these pots as well as make like a monstera print because i just love them so much and then also the dresser that i filmed this video on i want to paint it as well um, i've really gotten into illustrating flowers like i love doing it and in my new place i'll be able to draw so i'll also show you that draw I'll, i can draw anywhere i'll be able to paint my room and i plan on having some floral illustrations and so i would definitely share that with you uh, but going forward i'm here and ready to do this so thank you so much um and you know you know the, the the outro spiel the likes and the subscribes and everything uh but i do hope that you enjoyed this video leave again any tips and then if you have any like videos that you want to see regarding my plants or regarding illustrations go ahead and let me know in the comments as well all right happy friday friends i'll see you next time